Good day everybody and welcome at E36 and E46 vlog 86 uh, rear bumper repair well actually it's not a good day because yesterday uh, my neighbor came and he told me that he hit my car while he was parking his van so we are off to the body shop uh, I already looked up uh, for some prices somewhere here in the rear um, if you look up uh, for prices then always check out the Schmiedman website no this is not advertisement but they are like um, let's say super expensive in sense of they ask the max prices so um, a rear Mtech 2 bumper in primer is uh, 568 uh, euros and 29 cents also some hardware about 50 euros then you have to um, paint the rear MTEC 2 bumper and also get it off and get it on and adjust it so I am going to the body shop now or we are going to the body shop now and I am um, yeah well wondering surprised if they are going to repair the bumper because they see some um, how you call that not glass fiber but um, putty on it so they can see it's not a new bumper or that they're going to re uh, replace the whole bumper because it's too many man hour. I don't know. We're going to the body shop now and afterwards we're coming back to you guys. So. Uh So we went to the body shop, I know the guy to a friend who also had the body shop a few years ago and the guy said he's going to try um, to get a whole new bumper but economically um, they're probably going to say that we have to re repair it. So I hope we're going to get a new um, MTEC bumper then it has like any kind of use that um, I have to spend this time and energy for a new bumper and otherwise we have to repair it and I'm also going to do the right side. So, I'm going home, um, make a damage report and uh, I do that as quick as possible because it takes at least two days before they're going to uh, treat it and uh, yeah, I just want to get it off my back. So, um, that's what we have done and uh, it's a nice weather so that's a good thing. So, we're going to get back to you guys later and um, like I said, fingers crossed, we're going to get a new bumper. Guys, um, we just got off the phone with the insurance company. Uh, basically what they said is that um, if you're going to do a repair under a certain amount of money um, it's fine and if we do a very expensive repair or we going to exchange it for a new MTEC 2 bumper then they're going to send in an expert and it has to be at the garage not at home because they want to talk uh, uh, with the guy who's going to fix it why he is going to fix it that way and uh, what he thinks about it so, um, like you can see, it can uh, happen just like that, that um, your car has a damage and the thing is, um, you can pump in a lot of time and energy, but still the E46 has its daily value and um, that could be a problem with the bigger um, damages on the car. So. I'm going to talk to you guys later and tell you uh, what the expert is saying, if an expert is coming, and uh, what we're going to do. So uh, that it is for now. That is it for now, and I'm going to talk to you guys later. So guys, um, we off to the body shop again. Um, it has to stand there for one whole day. Then uh, the uh, expert of the insurance company is coming and he is going to decide uh, either the E46 get a new MTEC 2 rear bumper or they're going to repair it like this is really like the irritating thing of having a damage on your car you have to check the damage bring the car again uh, show it to the expert and then um, bring it again 
to let it fix so it's always irritating the only upside would be if I would get a new bumper um, if I uh, get a new bumper or maybe even when I'm going to exchange the, uh, the old one um, I'm going to switch the uh, reverse sensors they are not that expensive you need uh, four of them uh, the only thing is um, when you have a standard OEM bumper <coughs> you can replace them that's with the uh, pre facelift version and I believe also with the facelift version uh, with the MTEC 2 body kit it's another story you really have to get the whole rear bumper off uh, yeah, to be able to reach the reverse uh, sensors um, one is hanging sometimes and what I also did is replaced um, the wires over there I did that the last time <coughs> when we uh, mounted the body kit so uh, I guess uh, the wiring is good maybe one sensor is hanging um, if I'm going to replace the sensors um, I'm not going to paint them I think I'm going to leave them black so you can see them really good and um, yeah, when you paint them you can have the chance that um, they don't function so good anymore you can also uh, buy them like pre-painted at the BMW dealer but like I said I'm going to mount them um, when they are plastic black so um, going to bring the car there there's a stand there overnight so I don't have to get up so early tomorrow and then we going to hope that the expert is going to say that we're going to mount a new bumper because the corner is probably broken um, some damage on the corner and on the right side there's a bubble in it so that's going to be a lot of grinding and plumber and stuff to get that straight again and they have to go heat up the bumper so that's not something that I would like and like I said um, if I'm going to get a new bumper then at least there's something good about this situation so off to the body shop to drop the E46 over there has to sleep there for one night and then tomorrow then we have the news here they're going to repair it or they're going to mount a new MTEC original OEM rear bumper okay guys we just came from the body shop and good news the expert opinion was that we have to exchange the whole rear MTEC 2 bumper so um, that's going to be a new bumper and I'm also going to replace the sensors and like you have seen on the previous vlog uh, the left side so the driver side has already been painted resprayed and the right side has still got a different color on the door so we're going to spray over the whole uh, right side and um, we're going to do that at once so we're going to place a new rear bumper and uh, also the whole right side um, maybe I'm going to do the trunk um, front and the rear we'll have to see but for sure we're going to do the rear bumper and the side and maybe the hood and the trunk as well so then everything has been resprayed and the same color because that is the downside with the metallic colors and with the clear coating it has a special Mercedes um, Benz uh, coating on it <coughs> that if you have small scratches, uh, scratches then uh, the scratches go away of course when you really scratch it it's not going away but it's like a special expensive clear coat and that's going to be on the sides as well so that it is for now um, already did some maintenance on the mini of my girlfriend um, 
the Mini Countryman uh, had a new engine because the chain snapped and with the new engine the chain snapped again so we decided to sell the Mini Countryman and now we have a Mini 1 so that's the version before the Mini Cooper you have the Mini 1, the Mini Cooper the Mini Cooper S and then the works so this is a 1.4 engine already did some maintenance on it I'm going to do the spark box now and then it should be fine so um, I'm going to come back to you guys later when we got some other news and some other progress or when we ordered other uh, parts but for now very happy happy face really happy that um, we're going to put on a new bumper like I said it's really back and forth with driving to the body shop ordering parts um, I think I have to leave my car there at least for three days but uh, there's an upper side on this story and that is that we get a new bumper Okay guys, so what I was trying to tell you guys is that I'm at the professional building market now to get some chemical anchors and stuff um, to mount a pulley, that's equipment for the gym, uh, it's almost the same as the lead pulley and you need a special attachment for that, so that's why I'm here. Um, I'm going to rent a trailer and I have a detachable tow hook like you could see in a previous vlog for the mounting of the Bonsal um, yeah, tow hook and we have to go to the garage to get the tow hook and then we have to go to um, the gas station to get the trailer and then we have to go to pick up uh, the pulley super heavy so I need somebody to help me and then I'm going to mount it and um, I'm going to transport it with the E46 so um, coming back to you guys when we're at the garage and when we are at, um, at the trailer company later So guys, the pulley is in the gym. I nearly destroyed my shoulder for it. We just got uh, the No Team D10 uh, Plus uh, back. And uh, we got a carbon fiber rear now. So we're going to get some better quality flux again. And I'm going to come back to you with the damage repair because I have some other nice updates for the flux. So um, stay tuned for part two and enjoy the new updates. Mm -hmm. 